Well, I am delighted today. It is not only hotter than ever outside, it's hotter than ever inside. Because of him. <laughs> well, please, please, you don't need to be so modest. We know why. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Ian Drew, senior editor here at Us Weekly Magazine. And the real reason it's so hot in here, despite her denials, is right here. Carrie Keegan from VH1, Morning Buzz, Woo! every day, 10 Big o'clock. I have to stop everything just to turn it on. Thank you. When I'm home, of course. Yes. Yeah, and even and when I'm not home. you should be every morning. Maybe I should call in sick just to watch the show. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Okay. <laughs> so you're wondering what she's doing here? Well, it's the usual. We're here to bring you hot stuff, the top five sizzling stories from our new issue, right here on usmagazine.com. First up, Blake and Ryan moving in together. What? We were just talking about them last time you were I here, know, weren't we? we? Did. Yeah. Blake Lively mm-hmm. and Ryan Reynolds were two uh, of the cutest people I think I've ever seen together. Well, they are two of the cutest people you've ever seen together, and they're going to be even cuter once they're living together in Connecticut. That's right, they've only been together seven months, but they were spotted around Connecticut last week shopping for home decor and houses and all that stuff. And a source says they're basically living together already. So it's, it's really soon though, isn't it? But they're celebrities, so you know so how that goes. Faster. It goes much, much faster. And then it ends much, much faster. Well, I'm not a celebrity. You're a celebrity. But when are we moving in together? Well, this is the hot there, gossip that there you There are no want rules. We don't need to fast track it. We can take our time. What kind of decorator are you? Will we like each other's decor? Uh, you know what? I, we will, because I will let whoever I'm with actually do everything. So Smart I don't need man. to do anything. Always let the girl win. Uh, typical bachelor. <laughs> and next, JT and Jessica wedding in Italy. Well, why not? Uh, Je- Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel were all over Italy last week, including a trip to Capri. But that's not the most exciting place that they stopped. They actually went into a wedding venue and checked it out. And uh, an insider says they had a great time, but uh, we actually... I actually also spoke to the mayor of one of the cities who said, no, 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 I don't have anything about them inquiring for a wedding. So not quite yet, but they're getting an idea. But they were inquiring about the gelato. So that obviously means wedding bells. Think about the hours in the gym they're going to have to work it all off. Wa- work it off when you're too. just walking through the city. Yeah. Did you hear about J- you do. Justin Timberlake you do. That is doing true. the whole um, interior decorating thing? Maybe we can have him decorate our house. I somehow think that he's too busy, but we can put out the call. JT, call. And next, Tom Cruise, Smoothie Operator. You can't write a better headline than that. You can't find a better guy than Tom Cruise. When he's not jumping on couches, he's whipping up drinks for the crew of his movie. Yeah, he is filming Oblivion in Baton Rouge, where he set up a smoothie and cappuccino bar. And uh, apparently, there's a big sign on it saying, courtesy of Mr. Tom Cruise. And all of the cast and crew love him now. They think he's the greatest guy. That so that's the way to win him over. Room. Are you going to go yeah. see Rock of Ages? That would be a good way to go. Oh, yes, of course I'm seeing it. See the abs on him with Rock of Ages? That's where he got it from. Obviously, it's all the smoothies he's been drinking. Exactly. See, he knows what he's doing. He's trying to pass on the love. And Charlize's sexy second date. Well, everybody was raising their eyebrows when Charlize Theron and Alexander Skarsgård, two... You couldn't come up with two more perfect-looking people. That is the epitome of Barbie and Ken. Yeah. Gorgeous people. Yeah, very Nordic uh, Barbie and Ken. Uh Exactly. So anyway, they were at Jim's Sports Bar in West Hollywood. uh, And they hang out in West Hollywood. How cool is this? Speaking of Tom Cruise. High five. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so they were at Jim's Sports Bar in West Hollywood, and then they were at Soho House just last week again in West Hollywood. So they're all all over the place. But we talk to an insider to see what was going on and they said it's not too serious yet and no he has not met the baby so she's taking her time she doesn't need to rush into anything you know what i like these two together Mm -hmm. i really do and finally, that Beyonce loves to take her baby blue ivy out for a stroll whenever she can. And she did just that in Central Park last week. We have a picture of that in this week's VIP scene. And that's all the time we have left for this week, everyone. Oh, no, say it isn't so. Come on, you know you're dying to get out of here. No, but I will come back, though. I hope so. <laughs> uh, once again, I'm Ian Drew, senior editor here at Us Weekly Magazine. And this is the one and only. Carrie Keegan, VH1, Big Morning Buzz Live. We gotta, and I am weekdays. See, she said... <laughs> said it before I could, but I've said it before. You make my job so much easier every time you're here. I love it. Well, I'll see you over there pretty soon. And uh, you can come back here anytime. Thank you. And you can go get all of these stories and much, much more all in our new issue on Newsstands Now.